Yo, what's up? I'm gonna be telling you about the time I got recruited by the military. It got wicked. Let's hop right into it. Back in the day, when your boy was young and school was ending pretty soon, and I had this one girl who was appealing to my eyes for a little minute, so I had to make something happen before I lost my chance. On the next day of school, I asked her out, and surprisingly, she said yes. Your boy was the man with a plan. Where did I ask her out to? Well, what any logical 17-year-old kid would ask? Benny Hanna's. Since it was a fancy restaurant, I had to dress appropriately. You know what I mean? Even prior to asking her out, I already rented the whole thing. See, that's the type of confidence you gotta have when it comes to situations like these. Hey, it's me, go! I rented out a tailored golden suit, got myself a golden do-rag, along with a white shirt with a black tie. All I needed was the dunk. When I got home, I went on Craigslist and found a seller selling it for $3.99. Yeah, it said exactly that. Now, I was a little skeptical at first, also due to the fact that the seller wanted to meet at 3 a.m. So I called up my guy and asked, Yo, bro, for the day I'm going on Saturday, you think... <laughs> Well, yeah, like what I'm saying, to get straight to the point, I'm trying to get these yellow thumbs from the online seller, but he wants me to meet him at 3 a.m. You think I should go? 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 Yo, go, go. Yeah. Yes. Go, go. Yes? You think I should go? Alright, thanks, no. Brody. I knew no, I could no, no, always no, no, rely on no, 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 you. Hey, if you no, ever need help with no, anything, no, let me know. No, no, no. I got you, my boy. No, no, Alright, I'm gonna hit you up later. No, no. Skip past this 3 a.m. As I'm standing there mad cold, I see a girl walking up to me, and I'm wondering to myself, is a girl? Do for one special. She got closer and told me not to turn around. I immediately mm. turned around, and all I see was a baseball bat heading straight to my face. When I opened my eyes, I realized that I was in some sort of room. There was a huge television right in front of me, people working at stations in suits and lab coats surprise surprise when i looked down i saw that i was tied up the tv turned on and it showed all the security footage of me stealing airplanes and landing them on our runways on my previous adventures as you can see we have all your past footage of stealing expensive private industrial aircrafts and even breaking them this is enough to criminalize you and put you in prison for life but that doesn't have to happen honestly now we've been watching you for some time and you have shown us your remarkable piloting abilities that we have never seen before so we're asking you to complete this one mission and we will be deleting all the footage the mission i bet all right what i said i bet yeah don't even worry about deleting the footage just put it on a flash drive and send it to me so i can show off in order to explain this mission in plain terms it basically entails intercepting the enemy's cargo dispute i just said a whole lot of nothing then and i i needed to capture a specific member from the enemy while in midair with a fighter jet along with a few other people a few minutes later my team and i are in the air taking action we were going berserk dodging missiles diving front flipping man we shooting the shit out that cargo but in the enemy cargo's aircraft he had a mini submarine so he was about to drop into the water and escape. My teammates didn't have a good angle in the submarine, so they couldn't shoot it, but I did. Roger, oh, come in. We can see that you have the best angle to take out this guy, so I'm gonna need you to shoot that submarine, Roger. Roger, I bet, Roger. So I was closing in on the op, and I see a donut shaped billboard with a hole in the middle. I'm sorry, but I just couldn't pass up the opportunity. I dove straight down, and as I'm about to pull up, I didn't press the fire button and blew up the top of the donut shop. My heart sank, and I immediately went back to try to catch the submarine. Unfortunately, the submarine was all already in water. I was so upset and so embarrassed that I just went back to headquarters bumping num by XXX Tentacion XXX. Once I got back, I was immediately bombarded with the team roasting me, telling me all kinds of things, stuff that I would be demonetized for. Just know they called me a word that starts with a J. Later that day, I went to the room where they held the aircraft and took a little drive in the air to clear my mind, feel what I'm saying? While I'm piloting, I decided that the only right thing I could do was apologize to the manager for damaging his donut shop. I got out there and I saw a car in the driveway so I assumed it was still open. While I'm grateful that the store is in good enough condition to continue operating, I also began to panic because I realized I had to land on the street. Every time I landed an aerial aircraft, it was always on a runway or a big landing speed. I got lower and lower and I thought I had it under control. Once I had landed, my knucklehead ass drove forward and crashed into the shop as well as hit the car in the driveway. Now I was even more stressed due to all the damage I caused. As I'm trying to back away from the store, I accidentally pressed the eject button and flew out the jet. I deployed the parachute but could not control myself. I ended up falling straight into the car breaking their front window. Why does it keep getting worse? When I sat back up and opened my eyes, I saw that it was the person I was supposed to capture. He was slumped with donut debris on his face. I put him into the seat next to the driver and drove straight back to headquarters. When I got there and told everybody what happened, they were both mad and surprised. They did the same thing they did to me to him, but to wake him up, they poured a cold water on him. And then I smacked his bald head for good measures. I said, I bet. <sighs> 
I got my licking, and I'm out. Hey, make sure y'all send me that flash shot. I got up out of there, and once I got back to my establishment, I remembered about the day I was supposed to go on. I texted the girl about what happened. No reply. I get on Snapchat, and I'm seeing the most egregious, deplorable, disingenuous post I've ever seen in my life. In this video, there has been numerous challenges and trials throughout this tale. As a result, I must make this story lesson clear if I want this video to have the greatest possible impact. <clears throat> the moral of the story. The moral of the story is, if you weren't invited, don't go. You weren't part of their initial plans. So don't waste your time.